Hello everyone, today I want to show you a 4x4 button panel that, depending on input, gives a unique signal strength output at this block here. The whole system is quite compact, it has a size of 4x5 blocks, so it's 5 blocks high, 4 blocks wide, and including the buttons, 11 blocks long. This button panel works quite similar to the 3x5 button panel I showed in my last video about a combo lock. And since so many people requested a 4x4 version, I designed this one here. It's of course compatible also with the combo lock from the last video, which I can also link in the video description. And it wasn't completely trivial to design this one, because the composter which we used in this version only has 8 states. So I'm currently playing the latest snapshot, 19W06. And then in order to make this work, we had to push different blocks. So we use 7 composters. For redstone blocks, here we use normal blocks because they don't power the pistons above, and we even use an observer for the signal strength zero value. You can also see the corresponding signal strength outputs we have with this version. This could be slightly changed, of course, um, but it's, yeah, that's what I went with. For example, let's try the bottom right to get the full signal strength for 15. Here we got 14. Let's try something else. Um, yeah, here would be 6, 7, and this one is 5. The specialty was using this observer. This gives uh, a signal strength of 0 because the comparator doesn't yeah, process or transmits the output of the um, observer, but still you can take an output at this line. So if I would hook up repeater here, and we could power, for example, a piston, you can still see that we get an output at this line for a signal strength of zero. There's only a slight flaw with this system. If you want to power a piston directly, then it would only get triggered once, because the piston here grabbing the observer would only create a zero tick pulse that is too short for the piston. The repeater could process that, also for example a trapdoor would get powered, but the piston doesn't get activated. So if you want to uh, activate a piston directly, then just need to put a repeater in between. Alternative would be hooking up a trapdoor and detect it with an observer. It's also a possibility. Let's quickly check that out as well. This would be the other option. Alright, now I want to show you how I can build this thing. In my inventory you can see the type of materials we need for this. And yeah, now let's start. Of course, you need 16 buttons. You can also color code the blocks that, are, that the buttons are attached to, so they're easier to distinguish. Then let's go to the back. At the back of the lowest block a button is attached to, you need to put down repeaters. On top of that, you need some node blocks and observers detecting those on top repeaters again and some iron trapdoors another observer line and on top trapdoors observers trapdoors and observers then we need 16 sticky pistons in front of each of the inputs bottom we attach blocks that can be powered then here we need a line of composters here three more composters and this one gets an observer and the top redstone blocks all right then go down again we attach redstone torches here on the side so they will power the blocks that get extended repeaters on top of those blocks just misclicked here. Okay. More repeaters here. Then on top of those blocks, of course, comparators to read the composter output. Then here we need, of course, more compost, uh, more comparators in front of the composters, and here we need redstone dust for the observer. Then here we power some blocks, 
Same at the bottom. Put down some redstone dust. And in front of the redstone blocks, at least on our right side, we put down repeaters. Just power those blocks here. And here we also put down some redstone dust. That's almost the whole system, we just need to fill in our composters. So for the bottom row, we need a fill level of 4. I'm using pumpkin pie because there's uh, no randomness involved to try to fill them up. Okay, fill level 4 for the bottom row. Then swing to the left here. This one needs a fill level of 5. And the two next to it need to be completely filled up, so to 7. Then it would jump to 8 anyway. And that's it. So if you want to know what single strength level corresponds to the button, here you can see I put down some signs. For example, the top right would give out a single strength of 8, 9, 10, 11, and so on. So I'm just going to go a little bit closer so you can read it. So I marked the block once more where you can take the signal strength output from. So this is on the right, this block here with reds and dust on top. Get the unique signal strength output. If you just need the signal output, uh, regardless of the signal strength, you can take one from this complete line of blocks with reds and dust on top. So for example, repeater here, and so on. So it all work. Alright, thanks so much for watching, see you in the next video, bye bye!